Hi, my name is Marco. I'm a PhD student at the University of Brasilia in Brazil, working with Dr. Elibio Resch's synthetic biology group at, at Imbrapa. We've been working with integrases in eukaryotic systems for a while now. And after we started our <coughs> studies with the minimal mycoplasma SYN3 from JCVI, we saw a great opportunity to test and apply our system in a simplified intracellular environment, at least in terms of molecular components, which we believe it's similar to what we can expect it for a synthetic cell that has been proposed uh, by some groups lately. So in the initial efforts to assemble this synthetic regulatory network based on integrases, <coughs> we've designed some sets of integrative plasmids harboring an emissary reporter cassette in which the emissary gene is in off state, meaning it's in a reverse orientation relative to its constitutive promoter. And also flanked by the two ATT recombinase sites of a given integrase. And in the same plasmid, we have the respective integrase gene under the control of a tetacycline induced bulb promoter. We expect that upon induction with TET, the integrase will be able to flip the MCRI sequence and turn its expression on. <laughs> We've selected two integrases for this first analysis, integrase 9 and integrase 13, as well as use two plasmids, one with constitutive MCRI expression and another one lacking the MCRI gene to use as positive and negative control in our axis assay. So for integrase nine, after 48 hours induction with four micrograms per ml of TET, we saw the activation of MCHERRY, which is very positive. And also in the non-induced group, the fluorescence level was always very low, suggesting that it's a robust system with no leakings observed. Unfortunately for integrase 13, there was no activation of emicherry after induction, but we can observe low fluorescence levels for the positive control PLR, possibly suggesting an inhibitory effect of the ATT sites present. So as future steps, we're going to test new integrases as well as a redesign of integrase 13. And also we're studying the insertion of integrase 9 ATT sites flanking endogenous genes in JCVI-SYN3 genome.